Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here in the great University of Texas. And you know what? First off, let me introduce the tournament director, Soli Kaur. Soli, welcome for joining us here at the booth. I got to tell you, this is one of my top three tournaments of the season. I always look forward to coming here back to Austin after a three-year drought. Thank you for having us here, and thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure having y'all here. Y'all are doing such a great job running this event, running this pro division, and uh, the crowd is super excited. Everybody's excited to be here. The energy in this building this weekend has been phenomenal. And I agree with you. So the boys in red, Acuna and Portillo, taking on the boys in blue, Moscoso and Landa. So I got to ask you, what do you think about this matchup between these two teams? You know, I'm really excited about this because I haven't seen very many matches with Moscoso and Landa playing together. And both of these players are super solid. But at the same time, Portillo is kind of the up and coming player, right? And so Acuna is a great getter. I think what we're going to see here is a really tight match, but I think it's going to take a little time for these guys to sort of ease into it before we see something really special. I agree with you. I mean, you know what? Uh, Team Dovetail uh, players right there, uh, Acuna and Portillo, have been playing great as of late. They're doing a good job. But the powerhouse of Moscoso and Landa can seem a little bit overwhelming for any opponent. Agreed. And Landa's got a way of really just drilling through that forehand and seeing him play this forehand side, which is not totally typical of him, right? No. I'm used to seeing him on the left side. Yeah. So this is going to be really interesting to see how he plays on this right side and dominates with that powerful forehand of his. Speaking of powerful forehands, what about Andres Acuna with that kill shot right there to the corner? You know, they're still alive. I mean, for example, Conrado still has double uh, single semifinals as well as Eduardo Portillo. I mean, you know, you got to admit that becomes a factor on a Saturday night. These guys have been playing their hearts out all weekend long. It has been phenomenal. Uh, but being able to squeeze in both the doubles and the singles is just amazing what these athletes are able to accomplish through the duration of a weekend. Oh, couldn't agree with you more. We're now back to the action as Conrado Moscoso continues with the serve. And that's what I'm talking about. That forehand from Landa can get dangerous. And he's really showing us exactly what he's able to do on that point. So in terms of these two teams, I got to ask you, leadership. On the team in the boys in blue, Moscoso and Landa, you know, obviously Land is more seasoned than Moscoso. He's in his 30s. Moscoso's still in his 20s. So usually it's a good cop, bad cop in doubles. So leadership among these two, who do you think is a better leader? You know, I think you've kind of got to go with the tenure that Landa has, right? The experience. I mean, Landa was playing this tour when Moscoso was like practically a baby, right? And so that's just neat to see in general. But I know Moscoso is going to be looking to Landa to sort of be the leader and sort of drive the momentum. But at the same time, with shots that Moscoso just hit with that beautiful pinch in the left corner, man, this is just going to be amazing. Murata Moscoso back to serve. And that's another key factor right there. How execution will play a big part on the team in red because, you know, Eduardo Portillo, if you saw him play his quarterfinal match earlier versus Thomas Carter, which is completely dominant. And in doubles, they're doing phenomenal. But you know what? I got to ask you, what do you think is the X factor for the team in red? What is going to make them win? You know, that's a really, really tough call. I think what's going to make them win is just the resilience and the patience of Portillo. I think that's really what it's gonna come down to. He has such a smooth game, and he's got the ability to control what's going on in the court, even on the right side. Because normally the left side player is the one who's controlling the pace, controlling the action. And I'm not saying Acuna's not gonna do that, but I think what this is gonna come down to is Portillo just hitting some great shots in the front court and frustrating Moscoso and Lando. And I gotta ask you, what about the X factor in the team in blue? It's all Moscoso. It's going to be whether or not he's splat rolling that left side or not. Mm -hmm. And that's really gonna be the difference here. When Moscoso is on, at this stage in his career, he cannot be touched. So if he gets on fire, if he gets hot, there is no way Acuna 
Acuna and uh, and these guys are going to with dovetail are going to be able to stay in this thing. And that's it right there. Taking the ball out of the air, center court, bottom of the four, of the uh, bottom of that front wall, and just doing it with such precision. At the front camera, we have a replay. Hashtag just a replay. And that's it right there, right? So even though he's playing that left side, he's not even taking a forehand there. He's taking a backhand right off the center. Portilla is really starting to show his dominance. What? There Great you. hands. Great hands there by Acuna. And you know what? I like the team, team dovetail right now, because these are two are young guns. Yeah. They have experience, international experience, professional experience, but they're two young guns. Imagine if they stick together, just to say at least in a couple of years more, how strong they can, they can get. You never know which teams are going to generate the chemistry that is just the difference maker in doubles. a double bounce right there to call another point for Moscoso and Lana who are now up six serving three game number one we see some of the Bolivian flags here in the stadium court that is awesome some Bolivians coming to support Conrado Moscoso oh wow set up tries to go for that right corner and just puts it right in the floor those unforced errors can be really costly over the course of a match. It's a good shot there by Portillo. And that's the patience I'm talking about. He doesn't really, he, he knows he's got everybody out of the way. He knows he's got that right position to, to shoot the ball. And he doesn't even swing hard. He just hits the right shot. That's an interesting serve. Yeah, and it falls short. An effective serve, actually, with this ball on these walls, but let's get that over the line, right? Yeah, and you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm wondering right now, because he's going with a high lob nick. And for Moscoso, you know, his backhand is just deadly. But how about serving? We, we saw it in the last couple of uh, doubles matches. Um, serving the middle. Right, serving the middle. I mean, make Moscoso do a forehand instead of a backhand, because I think Moscoso's backhand is just deadlier than his forehand. Both, both are great, but just his backhand is amazing. It's a great strategy, and we'll see if they take that, if they take that on. It's a good shot there by Alex Landa. Yeah, and great placement. Literally runs around Portillo to get right mm -hmm. in that perfect position, knowing exactly where that ball is going to be. Beautiful. And that's what you're talking about, yeah. right? That for, that backhand, just super smooth, getting prepped, putting it down the line. Acuna can't do a thing with that. Set up. Hashtag just a replay. And as we all know, Moscoso's regular partner is Roland Keller. He couldn't attend the event. So I think this is a good opportunity for uh, Landa to get some professional points in the doubles because he usually doesn't advance, not, not as of late, in the, in the pro division in doubles. So this could be good for Alejandro Landa. Agreed. It's always fun seeing new partners come in and have success. Well, what would you think about that uh, tiebreaker from uh, De La Rosa and Fernandez? This is the first time they played together. And they played phenomenal throughout that match. Oh, wow, what a get. Moscoso. Now Landa goes to the left. Reset. That's the splat, beautiful. There it is again to the other side. There That's where Moscoso can be really, really deadly. Listen, all the matches here are great, oh. right? I was upstairs eating barbecue, watching that match you were just talking about. And that doubles match was incredible. Yeah, we got a lot of pop from the crowd. 
especially in that uh, third game. A lot of pop, and you know, we, we got a lot of comments online. Just people were going insane about how good those rallies were. And this was a packed house, which mm -hmm. was really exciting to see. Oh, great pass. Yeah, just getting it right past him. That's about as perfect as it gets. Three quarters down the line, hits the side wall, kicks back to the center, wraps around, and Moscoso just can't wrap around to get anything. Good shot there by Acuna. So Portillo and Acuna are trailing five to nine in game number one. Still early in game one, and you know what? It's going quick, Sully. Yeah, I think these guys, like I said, you know, they're just going to be feeling it out here for just a little bit. That's beautiful. Wow. Ball tracking is a gigantic skill in racquetball and ball tracking for Conrado Moscos is just another Tuesday for him. And you know, the interesting thing about this ball that we're playing with here is that it is a little bit slower. It allows him to control it and the splat stays down. So he's gotta be loving this type of action on the ball. Oh, between the leg shot, fantasy kill right there. I think Landis should have taken that shot. A replay called by the referee. He's not going to get an avoidable. Yeah. He had room to hit that ball. Well, I think this is one of those areas where the ball is so close to Portilla that Landis didn't even have an opportunity to see it. And replay, I think, is the right call. And same thing there. Cunha can't quite get his racket around. Moscoso right behind him. So we'll just do another replay. Wow. wow. That was flat. That was, that was a very flat shot. But Moscoso just giving us a, a split right there. And that'll be enough for... Uh, towel break here to get the floor cleaned up yeah of course and you know what kpr rentals and trucking is an oil field rental company doing business in the premium basin since 2000 they supply mud and water storage mud mixing pits transfer pumps and much more of anyone's surface rental needs they offer rapid dependable service available 24 7 365 days a year you can find them on the web at krp rentals and trucking.com or follow them on facebook at krp rentals and trucking i want to thank Everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, keep following us on social media. This is a Super Saturday, and we still have the men's semifinal singles coming up. That's exciting news, Sully. I am so excited to see these matches. Uh, these guys have been just playing their hearts out all weekend long, and it all comes down to these semifinals. Got a ceiling ball rally here. Set up. <laughs> fire. Yeah. That is fire right there. You're not going to get much else. You're not going to get anything else when Moscoso is hitting the ball three feet away from the front wall with that kind of a setup. Wow, Landa, there's that forehand, front wall, catching some action on the side wall, rolls out. What a point. That's a skip right there by Conrado Moscoso from Sucre, Bolivia. I want to say hello to everybody in Bolivia watching National Hero. I got to tell you, I've seen how people receive him when he goes back to the airport and it's a frenzy, like a rock star totally. Recently won an award in Bolivia. Very glad to see him here. 
it's really nice seeing these international mm. athletes getting the respect and the fame and the publicity that they deserve oh, because truly these is. athletes are like top notch. Moscoso wanted that hinder there. Ball came in a little too close to Acuna. Couldn't quite get his racket through. Was pausing just slightly. Decided to take it, and the referee's not going to make a call. I like that when Portillo cuts those balls off because he's creating an opportunity that they weren't anticipating by his opponent. So I really like to see how he does it because, you know, he cuts them off really, really good on the backhand, but on the forehand, he just did that phenomenally. There you go, Moscoso down the line winner. Yeah, that's a beautiful backhand. Yeah, Portillo likes taking the ball early. A lot of these guys taking the ball early. It's the best way to catch their uh, defenders off guard. And um, yeah, he's just got an incredible forehand and does it with ease. Oh, between, between the, legs. the legs, wow. Up to the ceiling. That was a double bounce right there. Acuna couldn't put a racket on it before. Listen, Acuna and Portia are playing really great, but Land and Moscoso are just dominating here. They're just really throwing their weight around and showing that they are the absolute veterans, and they want them to know that. Yeah. Well, statements need to be made when you have two players with the caliber of Moscoso and Landa. Set up. Now let's talk about taking it early, right? I mean, perfect opportunity, a really weak shot by Acuna, not a whole lot he was able to do with it. Sort of a nice right plum from Moscoso to step in and just put it in that reverse pinch. Wow, great anticipation there by Acuna. Talking about cutting off right there. Just didn't wait for it to come off the back wall of side, just cut it off. That's the right choice by there, and Moscoso now to the serve. Wow, bullet of a serve, and Acuna just puts it down. What a great return by Andres Acuna. Remember the San Jose Costa Rican native. I talked to him earlier before this match uh, while he was warming up. And, you know, two weeks from now, we have uh, Sioux Falls in South Dakota. And I asked him, are you staying or are you going? No, I'm going back home, then I'm coming back up. <laughs> it's an incredible feat. That's the other issue that a lot of people don't talk about, Soli, how, you know, all that international travel takes a toll on your body and on your mind. Yeah, how they do it, I'll never understand. You need to plenty of travel and rest to compete at this level. What about that level of shot right there by Moscoso? Beautiful splat, keeping it down in the front court. It's just so smooth. It's a great, great shot there by Alejandro Landa. He's just not taking any chances. Yeah, and a perfect example of just not doing anything other than a light swing and putting the ball exactly where it needs to go, which is away from your opponent. Set up. Oh, and Portilla says, nope. No. And you know what? So I got to talk about this because we were here, the crew were mentioning it. Since we began this tournament, I have not seen one broken ball. Not one. And, and to us, that's, you know, it's a feat in itself. You know, sometimes when players, oh, that's a great shot there by Conrado Moscoso. Sometimes these players, you know, they have a groove, they have a rhythm, they have, you know, motivation, and a ball breaks, and it kind of breaks that, right? Yeah. Oh, timeout taken by Portillo and Acuna. Let's take a short break for these commercials from our sponsor, and we'll be back on IRT Live. 
Let's come back Fix and follow up on that bomb. Yep, there's a lot Carbon of fiber racket repairs that are strong. Uh, that what perform, I do want to do is talk about how this two ball to three grams of total weight and uh, Racket.com. FixMyRacket.com. Carbon fiber racket repairs that are strong, that perform, adding only two to three grams of total weight and maintaining racket integrity. Performance like new at only 20% of the cost of a brand new racket. Endorsed by yeah. professional and players. Worse than being Fix in My Racket's unique relationship with Pro Kinex adds value. And then that includes ball breaks. up to 12 months for a repair. Takes your motivation every sometimes every away. It just purchase, flourishes my at a point where you're like repairs by the pros. If this isn't the opportunity, let's find the opportunity yeah, yeah. To, to do a quick one minute around sure. that. Sure, sure. I played a lot of matches when I was doing? playing the WRT Rest with in? the Gearbox yeah. ball. Taking a break. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. Back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. We're here live once again. Conrado Moscoso and Alejandro Landa back to the serve. I don't think Landa was expecting that. He thought it was going to be about two inches off the front wall. Acuna <laughs> kept it about three feet high right into Landa's body and uh, caught him by surprise. Not much he could do with that. Not much. Acuna. Wow, 38 and a half feet shoulder height puts it down. Well, you know what, what I liked about that is how he, instead of standing up and just hitting it down, he encroached himself and prepared himself. And that's what I like about, you know, improvisation, adaptation. You know, you have to go with the flow. And if the ball demands it, you have to give it that. Perfect example right there. Nice Ooh. hands, Acuna, just wow. doing just getting his racket on the ball, putting it in the corner. I love seeing when these guys can drill the ball the way that they do, but yet still have the hands and the touch in the French court. Down the line, wow. Great How many times do we have to say it? Down the line, <laughs> down the line. I don't think we say it down enough. Down the line, right? Like it's the shot and it's the one that most people don't do and these guys are showing you exactly why down the line works. It also doesn't help when it barely comes off the front wall. No, but you know what? That shot that uh, Acuna took just created that opportunity for Moscoso. There you go. Yeah, Port I got to tell you, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about looking at is whether or not Portillo was going to sort of take over and be one of the dominant players. I feel like he's barely been in this match. Wow, he fight off the first game point right there. You know, ball control and good hands by uh, Acuna displaying great, great knowledge right there. Court awareness. Now Moscoso, game point number two. Good reset there by Acuna. Oh, Moscoso trying to hit the left corner, keeps the ball up, but Portilla puts it in the ground. Listen, I don't blame Portilla for trying that shot. Unfortunately, it came at game point. So players will take a break. We will too. After two minutes, we'll be back 
with game number two on IRT Live. FixMyRacket.com. Carbon fiber racket repairs that are strong, that perform, adding only two to three grams of total weight and maintaining racket integrity. Performance like new at only 20% of the cost of a brand new racket, endorsed by professional players. Fix My Racket's unique relationship with ProKinix adds value. Includes up to 12 months for a repair if ever needed with new purchase from FixMyRacket.com. Repairs by the pros at FixMyRacket.com. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here at the University of Texas. So, Soli, i got to say, great venue. University of Texas is just fantastic. And we're right next to the Longhorn Stadium of football. It's, it's just amazing stuff. Yeah, this campus is beautiful. Uh, we're, we, we've got, like, amazing weather this week. And so um, it just makes everything that much more special. And, you know, when we were looking at the, uh, the weather outlook for this, uh, for this event, I got to tell you, um, there was, uh, you know, a forecast of heavy rain for today, and it's been great. It's been, it's been amazing. Listen, it's Texas, it's January, and it's 70 degrees. There's a lot of the nation right now that's got to be super jealous of that. Well, I'm, I live in San Diego, so we're 70 degrees all year, Sully. All right, let's not, uh, <laughs> let's not talk about that. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. So if Skip will put Moscoso into the box. So 0-0 zero, zero still. Game number two, just starting. That's oh, out, nice. unfortunately. So now serve again for Acuna from San Jose, Costa Rica. Of course, the other Deportivo from San Luis Potosí, Moscoso from Sucre, Bolivia. And Alejandro Landa from El Paso, Texas. Three walls. It doesn't get much more diverse than that. Oh, no. And you know what? I, I like the fact that uh, we are seeing a lot of that. You know, back 30 years ago, it was just U.S. and Canada. Just U.S. And almost all the time. Almost all the time. Isn't it amazing how much that shift has taken place? And a lot of that is just the South American government, the Mexican government, putting money, supporting yeah. these players, and uh, they came up the ranks and they just really dominated and we're just seeing that transition taking place over the last five years. I think that's a replay because it hit the front camera. I, you know, I, I agree with you because, you know, we are seeing a long-term investment paying its dividends right now for these other countries that have invested in, in these athletes. Ooh. Wow. 
What about that shot? For everybody seeing that at home, he made that look so incredibly easy. It is incredibly difficult to turn with that much momentum and make a reverse pinch with your backhand, and he just made it look easy. Oh, that's stuck wow. to the back wall. So I kind of want to, you, you've seen Landa have two to three of these three wall shots. And with the pro pen, that was coming off the back wall. This gearbox ball is staying down and it really becomes an effective defensive shot. What about that defensive shot by Landa behind the back ceiling shot? We've seen him do those all day. And here we go, front court shot. Oh. But it sticks to the wall. Portia right back at Landa. Landa can't come back and get his feet in place to hit that ball. Amazing shot by Portia. And he made the right call. Of course, not aggressively throwing it directly at Landa, but just bouncing off the wall, coming into his body. There's really very little options for Landa. Well, when you've got a player whose feet are just shuffling, hitting the ball right back at them is a great choice because they just don't have the time to get back in place. There's that shot again. Unfortunately, that one comes off the back wall, leaves a perfect setup on the backhand for Acuna, and a perfect wide cross-court pass will be the winner. Oh, great anticipation right there by Eduardo Portillo, as you said before, patience is key and it has been key for Eduardo Portillo and Andres Acuña. Short serve, second opportunity. Both players jumping, giving Landa the lane to hit that shot. What an amazing rally. But it just goes to show you the level of respect that they have amongst themselves to perform at that level and, you know, taking care of themselves too. Safety first. That one's going to fall short too. You don't see that very often. No, but you know what? I don't know if that mid lob is kind of effective against Landa. We'll see what he shoots for. Change up right now. I love Z. Skip called. So point for Landa and Moscow. I see no appeals. But Acuna definitely looks frustrated. Mm -hmm. That one was close. That ball is not coming very far off that back wall. And it's, it's questionable as whether or not that was good or not. Landa, reverse pinch to the forehand, just dominating. Wow. And he's, you know, if you hit it once, why not go for it again? No, of course. Listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Landa showing the maturity and the expertise that he's gained. He's definitely a veteran. Oh, Landa with a beautiful shot, leaves it just a hair up, Acuna barely getting a racket on it, pinches it, amazing get. Down the line, Moscoso, execution is the name of the game right now. So four serving one, game number two. That's going to be unavoidable. It is unavoidable. There are no protests. And I have to agree with the referee on that one. There's nothing to protest. He there. had him dead Por to rights. 
Portilla is right in the way. Moscoso's got a flat setup, center court. It doesn't get more textbook definition of avoidable hinder. There's that shot again. Very tough for Acuna, takes it to the ceiling. Ooh, very good ceiling shot there by Acuna. Wow. You know what? That's that's one thing that I've, that I've been talking about with Alexis throughout the day. Alejandro Landa, that doesn't matter if it's 10-10 in the tiebreaker. If it's 5-2, he always takes the shot. He, he's one of the most courageous and risky players that you're going to see on tour. I love it. There we go again. It's another point for Moscoso and Landa. And that's a costly mistake right there. These guys are already up in this match, putting the pressure on. And just giving them info, unforced error is just heartbreaking. And he's feeling it, I guarantee you. It's a skip again. And that's what can happen. It can get mental, and you can see that they know it, and they're taking a timeout to try and get things back in shape. So before we go to this break, I want to tell everybody about Longhorns Open's longest-standing sponsor, the law office of Charles Grigson. Chuck, as we like to call him, has been practicing civil and criminal law for over 40 years. He is experienced and unparalleled. He works with individuals and small businesses throughout Texas and the USA. If you're dealing with any dispute or contract negotiation or got yourself in trouble with the law, Chuck is the man you need to call. Check out his website for more information, Chuck Grigson Law. We'll take a short break, and we'll be back on IRT Live. FixMyRacket.com. Carbon fiber racket repairs that are strong, that perform, adding only 2 to 3 grams of total weight and maintaining racket integrity. Performance like new at only 20% of the cost of a brand new racket. Endorsed by professional players. Fix My Racket's unique relationship with ProKinix adds value. Includes up to 12 months for a repair if ever needed with new purchase from FixMyRacket.com. Repairs by the pros at FixMyRacket.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here as Conrado Moscoso keeps serving. Remember, he's the second server. Wow. <laughs> Counter corner. Amazing yeah. stuff right there. Make that nine serving one. And you're really feeling the momentum shift here. You're seeing the shoulders drop. Uh, from uh, Team Dovetail, and they're trying something different here. They're now switching sides. No, they're not. There we go. Way to get out of there. Nice get. Wow, Landa, great move. There you have it. Conrado Moscoso again. And I got to ask you, Sully, we're watching, you know, men's pro doubles. But then after something like that, they change sides. Yep. Changes the sides in the middle of a game, good or bad? It depends. Right now they know momentum is not on their side. So they've got to do something drastic in some situation to try and change that momentum. And sometimes switching sides can have an impact. And let's not forget, we've got Portilla, who's a dominant player with an incredible backhand. So it's not a bad idea. Wow, Alejandro Landa is displaying great athleticism. And so here's an example, right? You now you've got a change of momentum where Portilla playing that left side has the opportunity to create momentum to become that dominant player. And he shows us that with that reverse pinch. The question is whether or not it's enough with them being down this many points in the second game. I love Nick to Landa. There you go, execution right then and there. And it doesn't matter who's playing that side. That setup backhand for Moscoso, mm -hmm. not much you can do. Not much. Wow, and what about that forehand destroying yeah. from Landa? And you can see it on Acuna, right? His head is down, mm -hmm. his shoulders are down. He saw that shot, he kind of closed his eyes. He's feeling the pressure right here. These guys need to make a move right now or this could be done quick. That sidewall front wall kill by Andres Acuna.
Ooh, Portillo. I got to hand it to him. Really good, soft touch, just rolling it out. He knew that Conrado was too far back. Yeah. I, I almost want to say that I wanted to see this change on the sides uh, happen earlier. I think it's really going to be a momentum shift. I think it's going to give a Portillo an opportunity. But unfortunately, I think it's going to be just a little bit too late. But as they say, anything can happen. Two serving 10, Acuna. Can't get any better than that. What I love about Moscoso is he doesn't even look like he's swinging hard and the ball just goes fast and flat. <laughs> what about that one, Soli? Guys, Moscoso's making this look easy. These are not mm -hmm. easy shots. But you know what? I, I like the statistics here because, you know, Land is obviously a former number one IOT player, top level player for a long time. Moscoso is very little away from being, you know, uh, also a number one player. He's number three ranked currently. But you know what? That shot right there awards him point number 11. I'm loving those high lob serves. I'm feeling them. It's a skip there by Moscoso. Unfortunately, that wrap around pass. Yeah, and despite being a number three on the tour right now, let's not forget. He is a U.S. Open champion, right? So getting a U.S. Open championship is not an easy task. Well, U.S. Open champion 2022, World IRF singles champion 2022, and that was just within a two-month span. And again, that's an in-your-face shot right there. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting to see some of the dominance from Portilla, some of that relaxed shot making that is effective. And it's I'm, I'm really, really happy that they made this move to put him on that left side. I think it should have happened a little bit sooner, but I'm excited to see if it can get them back in this match. Oh, that was a great pass right there. Yeah, you know, sometimes you got to jump when people are shooting under you. Sometimes you got to jump just to get out of the way, but it's not often you got to jump to get out of your partner shot. Landa showing incredible athleticism. And Moscoso just flat rolls it in the left corner. That's a good shot right there. I think, is there going to be an appeal? Yes, there's an appeal. Good shot, call stands. That's Konya another point. Does not look happy. He really thought that skipped, but that it that is just a flat roll. Again, Landa. I love his performance right now up to a T. Is this it? Are they moving on? Oh, wow. he catches everybody off guard. Everybody's looking up, waiting for a ceiling, waiting to go down the line. He says, nope, I'm just going to take it in the reverse pinch. Easy shot. Nobody there. And Moscoso just really trying to step in there and hit an incredibly difficult shot. But at this point in time, you can, you can make those mistakes. You oh, can yeah. be a little bit more you, aggressive. You, you can be a little bolder, a little bit more courageous. Yeah. Right? It, it's not as costly as it is no. in certain other points in the match. I agree. What about Portillo cutting that one off? I love it. Maybe this change of positions between Portillo and Acuna can be beneficial. Wow. Yeah. Just showing like the good discipline with those hands. Rolls the ball out in the left pinch. Down the line. Yeah, and that ball falls short. That serve is just, it's an effective serve, but when you're going to give Londa a setup from 36 feet right off the side wall, Akuna can't be serving that. Short serve. From the San Luis Potosí native. 
Oh, that's a good pass. I got to admit on that one. Kind of caught Landa off guard. Oh, it's a skip right there. And now an opportunity for Landa and Moscoso, two away from taking this one and advancing to the final. Now make it that one away. Yeah, these guys have definitely exhibited dominance in this match. That's just what we were talking about with Landa and Moscoso. And here we are at match point. 14 serving for second opportunity for Landa. Oh, wow. that's a skip there by Moscoso. That kind of caught him by surprise. He was well, just reacting. And that's a miss hit, right? Acuna yeah. is basically trying to really do something special with the ball, put the ball down. He hit it so high, something that Moscoso doesn't see very often, and in this situation, effective. Moscoso for the win. That's a great serve and a great result. Moscoso, Landa, move on with that down the line shot, and they take this match 15-8. 15-4 to advance to tomorrow's final versus Javier Mar and Rodrigo Montoya. Solicor, tournament director here for Longhorn Open. What are your thoughts? I really liked what I saw here. I think Landa and Moscoso being a new team here are showing a chemistry that is incredibly unusual for new teams. And forehands with Landa, backhands with Moscoso, and dominating an amazing team like Portilla and Acuna, I'm getting excited for this final. Yeah, I'm getting excited too, and you know what? It's gonna play a huge role, but now, slowly, we're gonna go to the men's semifinal singles, an exciting one, you gotta tell you. I mean, these matchups are gonna be so insane because, you know, look at those Bolivian flags for people here that are alive. It is so amazing that these people show very much a lot of support for the countrymen, and I gotta tell you, Conrado Moscoso and Javier Mar, and De La Rosa versus Dado Portillo. For the IRT, Soli Court, thank you so much for having us here. And thank you so much for joining us at the booth. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll take about a 15 minute break and we'll start with the men's singles semifinals here on IRT Live. FixMyRacket.com. Carbon fiber racket repairs that are strong, that perform, adding only two to three grams of total weight and maintaining racket integrity. Performance like new at only 20% of the cost of a brand new racket. Endorsed by professional players. Fix My Racket's unique relationship with ProKinix adds value. Includes up to 12 months for a repair if ever needed with new purchases.